The audience here in the hall has promised to remain silent. No cheers, applause, boos, hisses, among other noisy, distracting things, so we may Boo. all concentrate Boo. on what the candidates Yay. have to say. Oh, yeah. There is a noise exception right now, though, as we welcome President Obama oh. and Governor Romney. Jim? Gentlemen, welcome to you both. Let's start the economy, segment one, and let's begin with jobs. What are the major differences between the two of you uh, about how you would go about creating new jobs? We have two minutes. Each of you have two minutes to start. A coin toss is determined. Mr. President, you go first. Well, thank you very much, Jim, for this opportunity. I want to thank Governor Romney and the University of Denver for your hospitality. There are a lot of points I want to make tonight, but uh, the most important one is that uh, 20 years ago I became the luckiest man on earth because Michelle Obama agreed to marry me. And so uh, I just want to wish uh, Sweetie uh, you happy anniversary and let you know that a year from now we will not be celebrating it in front of 40 million people. Uh, yeah, four years ago, we went through the worst financial crisis since the Great Depression. Millions of jobs were lost. The auto industry was on uh, the brink of collapse. Uh, the financial system had frozen up. And because of the resilience and the determination of the American people, uh, we've begun to fight our way back. Uh, over the last 30 months, we've seen 5 million jobs in the private sector created. Uh, the auto industry has come roaring back. And housing uh, has begun to rise. But we all know that we've still got a lot of work to do. And so the question here tonight is not uh, where we've been, but where we're going. Uh, Governor Romney uh, has a perspective that says uh, if we cut taxes, skew towards the wealthy, and roll back regulations, that uh, we'll be better off. I've got a different view. I think we've got to invest in education and training. I think it's important for us to develop new sources of energy here in America, that we change our tax code to make sure that we're helping small businesses and companies that are investing here in the United States, that uh, we take some of the money that we're saving as we wind down uh, two wars uh, to rebuild America, and that we reduce our deficit in a balanced way that allows us to make these critical investments. Now, it ultimately, it's going to be up to the voters, to you, uh, which path we should take. Uh, are we going to double down on the top-down economic policies that help to get us into this mess, or do we embrace a new economic patriotism that says America does best when the middle class does best? And I'm looking forward to having that debate. Governor Romney, two minutes. Thank you, Jim. It's an 